Hey guys, we are in Patia, a little bit outside of Patia. I'm here this weekend to pick up my my sister. So it's a quiet weekend here. You probably heard the news of the King's passing, so everything's a little subdued. Um, but restaurants are still open and people are still out and about and spending time with family. Um, so I'm doing exactly that today, hanging out with my sister. She's on a three month mission in Thailand to kick some butt. She's hanging out at the Combat Muay Thai Training Center. So I kidnapped her from there and uh, we're gonna be hanging out and eating some good food. Um, get a little bit of a seafood treat for her today because normally she's eating only healthy stuff. So I'll show you guys a little bit of the seafood and we'll be hanging out and, uh, and eating good. <laughs> It's very fresh and the seafood sauce is spicy but it's got a good flavor like a like lemon, lime and spicy. Very good. We did a fried fish. We've got some cabbage here that's been uh, stir fried in fish sauce and also we've got um, crab legs and like what they call squid that deal or pamuk that deal which is like lightly fried and sun dried squid. Yeah. I think this would be better with some seafood sauce, but they serve it with the, uh, I think it's like the spicy ketchup that I'm not crazy about, but. Yeah, it is like a sweet, tangy sriracha. And the squid is kind of rubbery, rubbery and salty, but. But pretty good. Plenty to chew on. <laughs> and would be even better with some beer. All right, we're leaving the restaurant, headed to a little cafe, grab some coffee. cafe excursion today. Uh, cute place. Coffee's pretty mediocre, but uh, we just kind of chilled out with smoothies for a little while. Um, yeah, just a quick jaunt in Patia. Really, we're going to go exploring a little more tomorrow in Chambari, so stay tuned for that part. We made it into the Pawa Suites or something like that. Um, it's a really tiny cheap hotel about 450 baht a night we're just crashing we've got an amazing view of the back of a shopping center <laughs> uh yeah but we're just crashing here for the night gonna go explore chumbari i gotta buy some cloaks tomorrow chumbari they have a couple markets that are famous for their stoneware where they make 
the uh, cloaks are what we call in English a mortar and pestle. Uh, we got to get the Courageous Kitchen kids something so they can grind their own curry paste. So we haven't done that yet. Um, so we'll be doing that tomorrow and also just seeing what other types of snacking and everything else that we can get into. This is a big place for food. Um, they have some chicken dishes and sauces and stuff that are, that'll be interesting, but we'll see uh, what we can find. So to be honest, we went in that little hotel room and uh, sat on the bed, heard our butts sitting on the bed, and we were like, uh, I don't think we're ready to turn in just yet. So we are back out at a Calthon place. As you can see behind me, it's got a really big station of people frying up stuff, and they've got a, just hanging ducks and a lot of food out front that made it a really attractive place to come and check out to eat. So we read a couple of the reviews. They've also got some of my favorite dishes. So we're here today for the duck pillow, um, the fed pillow basically where they do the sliced, thinly sliced duck in the five spice broth. They've also got chicken foot soup. I know you guys love that as much as I do. It's uh, spicy and tangy and it's got a ton of spring onion in it. And we've also got yum kai dao, which is the deep fried kind of omelet with that they do in a like lemony tangy sauce of chili and they've covered it with onions if you guys see all of those onions you're going to think about mark Wayans and think about whoever in your family is going to hate you for the next week when you smell like, <laughs> when you smell like hot onion bread i'm going to try some of the duck pillow it's been thinly sliced and also it got a bunch of cilantro on top looks really tasty a nice little layer of fat on top a big kick from the cilantro the meat on the duck is just super tender i don't know how they got it like that if they they brined it or something but that is just delicious now that first bite i didn't even dip in any sauce or anything um it's it's really juicy on its own you don't really need the sauce if you don't want it the sauce is just um, like a chili and vinegar sauce, but it just adds, really it's just there to add a little bit of tang to it. I'll dip it this time so I can tell you guys what that's like. It's good. I like it with a little bit of a kick to it, but that duck is so tender that you can eat it on its own. You really don't need anything. I understand why people would come here for that alone. Now let's taste the broth on these on these chicken feet. Wow. That tastes like one of the early videos that I made for you guys for the Kakai soup or the chicken foot soup. Very rich flavor. Very spicy. I like that. You can see the chilies. I mean, the, the spring onions you see first, but you can also see the chilies floating in the broth. It'll make you your mouth pucker a little bit. It'll also make your throat burn. As soon as you stop eating it, you get that chili coming back up. Wow. It's got a great flavor. It's my first time having chicken feet with the cow thong. It makes it a little tough to eat. You just kind of scoop it out of there. I wish I could just grab it with my hands and just <laughs> suck on this foot. Like chicken feet, if you've ever had them, they're very kind of gelatinous. They've got a like fatty texture to them and just the broth. The broth is really what makes it. I'm gonna keep dumping broth into this cow thong all night, into this bowl of rice porridge all night because it tastes so good and has such a nice little kick to it. But before we run out of time and memory space, let me taste this yum kai dao for you. I'm gonna scoop some of that up. You see we got some onions in there. Got a nice big chunk of egg. There's a big piece of yolk in there, but I don't think I got the yolk in this particular bite. That is really so good. So strongly funky onion. <laughs> Oniony. It's like now that egg in the salad sat a little bit so it got a little bit soggy but the pieces that are on top I really enjoy because it got that nice crispy texture. They're crispy on the outside, they're soft on the inside and you got plenty of spice and like I said, woo, onion flavor. Somebody is not going to be happy with me later. 
this is an area full of Calthorne restaurants. If you're in Chambury and it's late, you gotta check out some of the spots um, around here to eat. I wish I had time to check out all of them. We kind of diverted here to visit my sister today. I hope you enjoyed this episode and you get a little bit of uh, both what's in Pate and what's in Chambury. We got some more adventures coming up in Chambury tomorrow before we head back to Bangkok. Stay tuned and enjoy. Talk to you later. Leave me a comment below. We'll see you soon.